today's video has one of the rare scenarios of being quite a cool vacuum cleaner hobbled by being complete crap. This is the Samsung Cyclone Force Extreme Suction Power 2100 Beast. I don't even know if it turns on, so we best have a look at that today. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this is as it came from the bloke's porch, in fact I saw the gaping hole which will tell you exactly what state this machine is in. First, and I breathed a sigh of relief as I found this down on the floor with it, which was fantastic because I would hate to see, to think how much one of those is, although I don't know how to fit it. That slides down there. There we go. Ooh. Well, I can see why that was off. In fact, we'll leave that on. Yeah, this is a Samsung, oh gosh, SC21F50HE 1900 to 2100 watts. I've hit just noticed look it's got carbon fiber all over it it's like a racing car this i haven't looked yet at just how much this would be this wouldn't have been a particularly cheap vacuum cleaner it would have been probably over 150 pounds um wow that hasn't really got you very much has it we have look there's a sticker Buried under there, look. Oh gosh, this thing has been abused. But that's all we really can look at under there. This is a dirt bin. There's a handy handle there. And there's a thing for filter cleaning, which I think just takes this off. So I don't think it's a very efficient design at all. And there is a filter under here, but I'd be jarred if I know how to get it off. I can see it, it's there. It's under there, but how do you... There's even a little thing here that says filter cleaning, but... Ah, there we go, it just pulls off. <gasps> wow, it's also broken. There, look, so that's what's happened. Blatantly, it's got so packed full of filth that it split itself. Also means it's going to be a pain in trying to find another one that's not going to cost a fortune. So we'll leave that there. I don't even know if it works. Let us look at that in a second though, because this is what makes this machine very interesting and possibly a bit valuable, because it has a remote controlled powered hose with a missing button and another one half hanging out. The half hanging out one's possibly not the end of the world. The missing one, there you go, I'll just push that back in. The missing one is a complete pain in the bum. And yeah, look, there's even, ah, there's no batteries in it. There we go. So we'll find it some batteries, perhaps. See if it runs. We then have this dirt sensor, which will have possibly an acoustic speaker in it, just like Hoover used to. This does have batteries. Ah, there's a fun thing, look. We can play with that. So yeah, it has a dirt sensor. Very light, very good. As he says, not... Okay, very light, okay, telescopic tool. And quite a nice looking combination floor tool. Look, it's got a plastic base plate. And the bristles don't come up on one side. It's only got bristles in the corner as well. But that picks up, I imagine that it's got rubber pads as well, yeah. So there's something wrong with that. But, you know, it is what it is. That's it. There were no small tools with it, I am afraid. So what we'll do 
This will turn it on. Now, I'd imagine this it runs okay. Oh, actually, no, this will run, but it won't run okay. But let's see just how terrible it is. I think we best take the filter off. So the thing is green. it works and it works well it's just this is choking it absolutely choking the poor little thing so we'll leave that off the dust is okay because i need to do my daily cleaning see people watch these videos and think oh he lives in a dirty house i don't i'm going to throw all the doors and windows open in a minute and blow it all back out again and do me weekly clean so ha that's why this is being done now right let's find some batteries for the cool bit of this entire rubbish machine I've been through my man drawer and found two batteries which from the owl which may or may not work that is obviously the joys of the man drawer so I'll pop them in pop the little cover back on <gasps> ah so there's our speed control it works as well oh and unlike the Electrolux 4x4 you can literally you can have it anywhere. That is excellent. Right, well, I don't think any more dirt is going to fall out of this thing. So we'll move that. And we'll put the wand on. See some use that wand. Look at that. But still perfectly fine. I'm not even going to bother trying to focus it. Oh, no, it is a bit loose. Ooh, baggy. It's probably as clean as they are pretty cool. But they just don't last. Right. I won't be doing this for long because that thing is not happy. The throttle likes to pull itself backwards a lot, but that's a nice size. We should just imagine that the machine is on because, yeah, that's... That's not terribly healthy. What we do have, though, is the dirt meter. And I think what I'm going to try and do is see if I can make Benchy fit it. Just to, Oh, there we go. Look. That's good enough for us to just run that across something. Hang on. Okay, so we have a line of something down there. I don't... I'm presuming this just turns on automatically. <laughs> Or not. Maybe its batteries are dead. The Rocket, that well trusted brand. Best before June 2015. I'll tell you what, we know that the set that I've just fitted into the handle works. Even though they're probably just as out of date as well. So we'll pop those in there. And see if it works now with some suction. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't work at all. Let's just check it's not something that gets pushed in with this. Oh, look, 2,000! Oh, ow. 2,100 watts, look, and it can barely pick up rice. Okay, so the dirt sensor doesn't work, but everything else does. I'd imagine it's always going to be missing that button. <laughs> I, I can't see myself finding that. Actually, there is a bag full right there, but again, I doubt that's going to... If it's not on there, it's never going to have come on. So, we should ignore that and see if it works any better after a refurb. Does the cord rewind work? Ish. Um, 
fish. It's cool. It's, it's, it's not something I'd ever buy. <laughs> ever. But it, uh, it was free. <laughs> so why not? The Samsung, what is it again? Cyclone Force needs a filter for a start. It needs a pre-motor filter. I think this one will wash up. And God knows what we are going to find inside this disgusting thing. But that's all part of the fun, isn't it? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I and this Samsung will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>